Hey guys, this is Bluey back here with another video. So today it's going to be a Blu-ray hunting video. Yes, I'm going to HMV CX Poundland today. I am so excited. I pray the HMV bargain bin is as good as I've been seeing on Facebook and YouTube because I've really been seeing some people pick up some insanely cool things in those bargain bins and steelbooks, HMV premium collections, collections of movies. So yeah, we're going to go out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, also subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm going to get on the train right now and I'm fingers crossed um, Poundland has some new stuff as well, so yeah, let's go out and let's see what the shops have. In the new release section in HMV, Geometric 3, I know is the new one, so that's the regular Blu-ray. And we also do the trilogy on Blu-ray as well for $22.99. Um, I have not watched any of those movies, which is absolutely terrible. Long Shot um, with Seth Rogen, I've heard that one was quite good, and Extremely Wicked and Shockingly Vile. Um, I've heard mixed things about that one, I, I'm not really a Zac Efron fan to be honest. Apparently it was quite good in it though. So, Detective Pikachu, we have the 3D and the Blu-ray. Tolkien, Shadow as well. Um, then we're on 4K section, we have John Wick 3 on 4K, which is a really, really nice look. But $19.99 is very reasonable as well, and then the 3 movie collection for $49.99, which is quite steep. And Detective Pikachu on 4K as well. So there's the regular for 25 And then the Steelbook for $29.99, which is exactly the same as that one I returned to Best Buy when I was in America. Very nice Steelbook. And also Apocalypse Now, got this lovely box set, which is absolutely amazing. So the BFI movies are on a buy one get one free sale. So Seven Samurai is probably the one I'm going to pick up. But I'm struggling to find the one I want to pick up on for that. I'm so glad to see the Breaking Bad box set for $11.99 in here. Definitely going to pick this one up. When the clearance sale in H and V, they do have a load of the repetitive titles, but also some new ones like Collateral wasn't in here before. Christine's in here for three ninety nine. Most of them are, are actually three ninety nine, just the regular Blu-rays. Awesome box sets like Fast and Furious box set, Bloomhouse, Bloomhouse box sets. We do have Hollywood Bo Sunset Boulevard, sorry. Um, Nemez Robles, which was a pretty nice movie. I quite enjoyed that one. Concussion, the Will Smith film on um, Steelbook for four ninety nine. Really nice Steelbook. The Remains of the Day for three forty nine. I love those slip covers. I do have a few myself. Um, we do have this Drifters special box set, which is really nice, and the XXX two movie collection for three ninety nine. Fury for three ninety nine. I thought that was a pretty okay one movie, kind of overrated, but I still thought it was pretty good. Mile twenty two was also quite a new release, which I've heard terrible things about, um, but it does look quite quite a fun movie. Fences with Denzel Washington, a very 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 good movie. Um, and then the actual bin section, we do have loads more Blu-rays, um, steelbooks and stuff. Legends of the Fall is probably the main one I was looking forward to today. So pleased to see that one in here. Really don't understand how the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 3D Blu-ray has gone down to $2.99. That makes no sense to me. Like, the movie was okay, but still. Parkland for $3.99. Paranormal Ghost Dimension for $3.99. Love that slip cover. Um, Emoji Movie for, for $3.99. That's way too expensive for that crap. Um, we do have Mar 22 again, searching for 349. I know loads of people are looking for this one. Amazing movie. Um, American Animals. We actually have a Grimsby Blu ray here for 250. I was not a fan of this movie, plus the book is pretty bad, so I'm probably not going to pick it up. Mother for 499. Quite expensive for that one. I don't know why it's not 399. Better Call Saul, the first two seasons for 599. Very, very good price. Grimsby regular Blu ray for 299. So this still looks actually cheaper. Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. I think those movies are okay. Definitely the worst Spider-Man films. Hail Caesar, the Coen Brothers film, which is really, really good. The Mermaid on Steelbook, which is 249 Very, very, very cheap, but I don't know if I've actually got any interest in the film. Um, in this little bin section, we do have um, Trek Collection for £8. Definitely, that is one I'm going to pick up. And also War of the Worlds, which is 399 That was a pretty okay Steelbook film. I did, I did enjoy it when I watched it. And Star Trek Beyond with that lovely, lovely lenticular. I already do have a lovely version of that with a few slip cover. CX now. I'm not seeing too much. They do have a few nice titles like Mandy for £8. That's very reasonable. Jeremiah Johnson with Robert Redford for £6. Um, they do also have The Man from Uncle for £2, which is an enjoyable film. Terminator 2 for 4K for £15. Lovely slip cover. I have heard this quite a bad 4K transfer. I'm not sure about that one though. Genesis on 4K and also Venom on 4K. I do enjoy that film. It is terrible. Loads of films, but I do enjoy it. Um, Shazam, one of my favourite films of the year so far. Amazing DC film. So, so, so good. And also the Star Wars anthology. 
The Deer Hunter is a film I really, really want to watch, and I want, do want to get that 4K box set of it rather than just the regular Blu ray. Ex Machina or Ex Machina is a film I've heard great things about. I think that's an A24 film, actually. I really want to check that one out when I get the chance. And the Godzilla 2014 one, I do want to show out King of the Monsters since it looks quite good. So they do have Aquan on delivery for £8. I'm surprised this one hasn't actually gone down in price more since it came out quite a while ago. It's a pretty fun movie. And Elite Battle Angel as well for £12, which is a really, really good movie. Apocalypse Now, obviously, I do want to pick up the new final 4K cut of that. The Avengers Collection. Um, just a, quite a nice little array of titles in here, but nothing really I want to pick up. Chernobyl, a great series. Just finished that one. Absolutely superb. I, and, and Dumbo, the remake, for £15 in 4K, which is very, very reasonable. Hope you guys enjoyed those Blu-ray segments. Um, unfortunately, I could not um, film in Poundland since it was so busy in there. I did pick up one thing in Poundland. I will show you that very, very shortly. But yeah, sorry for not getting into footage in Poundland. There really wasn't very much. There was literally only one title that had any bit of interest to me. There were no boxes up top and in the Blu-ray section. There were like two shelves full, but really it was only like the Expendables. Um, Transformers movies, just repetitive titles like that, like I've shown you in the past. But yeah, our only pound and pickup is a movie that I'm super pumped about picking up, and that is The Breakfast Club. I did get The Breakfast Club in Poundland. Obviously, this is a classic film. I have not watched this one. Um, I know this is one of the best 80s films. Um, but yeah, originally I thought maybe it was a remake or something, since I really didn't think they would have the original um, Breakfast Club in Poundland. But yeah, it's not. This is the original. I think this is the um remastered version i think 30 years anniversary this one this is the 30 year anniversary edition but yeah a really nice cover on this one and it is pre-owned and fully refurbished for two pounds but i could not pass it up and i really look forward to watching this film um and yeah this is a 15 there you go yeah the breakfast club super hyped up picking that one up so yeah that's your only pound and pick up no pickups from cx and we did get up uh, did we did get one two three four five six things from hmv so without further ado i'll get into them First one we did pick up from the bargain bin. Most of these are actually from the bargain bin. Um, we did get Awakening with De Niro and Robin Williams, the legend. Obviously two amazing actors. Um, I don't know too much about this film. All I know is it's a superb film. And I could not pass it up for 3 49 uh, Based on true story, um, it looks amazing. I do love that cover. It does come with a digital download as well. Um, this one looks really good. Yes, yeah, so that is The Awakening on Blu-ray. No slipper cover for this one, but still I couldn't pass it up. Uh, apparently an amazing film, um, so yeah, I just had to pick it up. Next one is a collection of four movies, and that is the Shrek collection. This was seven ninety nine to two pound a movie, basically. These are some of the best animated movies of all of all time for me personally. I think the Shrek movies are absolutely phenomenal. I think everyone loves them. I think there are some that are bad, better than others, but for me personally, I enjoy all of them. I even enjoyed the Puss in Boots movie. Um, but yeah. This one looks amazing. I do love that cover as well. I do love that cover. It's just basically a huge Blu-ray case, but it does come with a nice slip cover. It's exa exactly the same artwork inside. But yeah, seven ninety nine. I'm definitely going to watch these. These was this was reduced from eighteen pounds to seven ninety nine. So yeah, I love the 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 music for Shrek as well. But yeah, Shrek some of the best animated films of all time. This was really when DreamWorks was at its prime. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the movies they're producing now. But yeah, Shrek, I love these movies. It's the complete collection. Next one is an HME Premium, Legends of the Fall. I don't know anything about this film, but it was 2 49 for an HME Premium. I had to get it. Brad Pitt and Anthony Hopkins also as well. Um, Brad Pitt is one of my favourite current acts, actually. He's just been in incredible films recently. But yeah, Le Legends of the Fall. This one does look really, really interesting. Um, I'm a huge fan of the HME Premium collections. I do have like about I think eight now this is bring up to nine but yeah i was surprised why this one got reduced and none of the others got reduced i guess this one wasn't selling well but yeah very very happy with this one it's just a regular hmv premium this is probably the main thing i was looking for and they had it i was so hyped about that it does come with a blu-ray dvd digital download and exclusive art cards so yeah look forward to watching this one and i just love these hmv premiums the next one is also something that I, I just wanted so much, and that is the Complete Breaking Bad collection. This was eleven ninety nine as well. Um, this was reduced from forty four ninety nine to eleven ninety nine with any purchase. This is a really nice edition. It's sort of like a digi book, so it like opens up and then you have a huge package inside. But yeah, this is literally going for twenty pound used on eBay. So to get it for eleven ninety nine, I'm guessing this is because of the new film. I've not watched Breaking Bad. It's a crime. I'm probably going to watch it on Netflix, but I thought Breaking Bad for eleven ninety nine. That's 
how many seasons there's i think there's six seasons correct me if i'm wrong um so that's like two pound a season um which is absolutely crazy crazy good so yeah love this edition i do love that cover as well and i cannot wait to watch breaking bad we did get and um, we did um get some bfi british film institution movies yes they, they were buy one get one free like the arrow academy like the arrow video um they i do love these buy one get one free sales first one we did pick up was life is sweets i believe this is a film about a family under the rule of margaret thatcher and i'm quite interested in politics so this one looks really, really good. Obviously, I wasn't born um, while Margaret Thatcher was ruling, so I'm extremely excited to watch this one. Um, obviously, Margaret Thatcher, a very divisive leader of our country, but this one looks really, really good, and I just cannot wait to watch this. So, yeah, it's about a summer of a family who are living under the reign of Margaret Thatcher, the Iron Lady, as she's also known as. But, yeah, this one looks really good. I do love that cover as well. Um, and, yeah, looks really good. This is also directed by Mike Lee as well. And it includes a running jump, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, I do love BFI. I've been to the actual BFI place in London a few times. But, yeah, very happy to pick up Life is Sweet. The next one is one, the one I knew I was going to pick up, and that is Seven Samurai. I know this is one of considered one of the best movies of all time. This is also a BFI. Like, they kind of, the spines kind of match up, as you can see. I probably will get some more from this deal if I get the chance. But, yeah, this is... Apparently an amazing, amazing film. Um, I don't know too much about it, but I had to pick it up once I saw it. I was like, I need that. Um, but yeah, it's it's considered one of the best films of all time. So I cannot wait to watch Seven Samurai. This was obviously forty nine ninety each. Buy one get one free. Seven fifty each. Very, very good prices. So those are my pickups from H and B in Poundland. I'll quickly go over them. I did pick up Life Is Sweet, Seven Samurai. Breaking Bad, the complete box set. So happy with this one. Legends of the um, of the Fall, ecstatic. This is probably the pickup I'm most happy with. The Shrek, uh, full movie collection for seven ninety nine. Awakening, and the Breakfast Club from Poundland. So you guys are probably questioning. I didn't pick up any steel books. They had the Grimsby steel book for two fifty, the Mermaid steel book for two fifty, the Concussion steel book for five pounds. Um, to be honest, I've got Concussion on Blu-ray. I would have probably picked that up if I didn't. Grimace B, I didn't enjoy at all. And The Mermaid, I read the back and it sounded like a good film, but just something that didn't interest me. And although it's a steelbook, although it was a very nice steelbook, I'd rather leave it for someone who is interested in the movie, uh, rather than me just picking it up just because I want a steelbook in my collection. And it is 250 it's not like it's no money. Like, I could go into Pound and buy another Blu-ray of that that I actually want to watch. I've kind of gone away from my idea of just buying films just because. I'm only really buying films now that I'm actually going to watch. Because I used to just go into Poundland and buy every single Blu-ray in there. But I've got about £50 on Blu-rays that I'm never going to watch. So it's kind of just about saving money. And if you save here and there, it all stacks up. So yeah, I'm not going to pick up any of those steelbooks. I'm sorry, you guys, you guys probably thought I would. I am kind of, you know, maybe I should have picked up Concussion. I don't know. I thought it was a really good movie. But yeah, I didn't. And... Um, you know, um, I'm going to leave them for someone who likes the movie as well. So guys, those are my HV pickups and Poundland pickups. I'm sorry, again, I didn't get any Poundland footage. It was just so busy. But yeah, I'm so happy with Legends of the Fall, and I'm definitely going to watch that one soon, since I love my HV premiums, and I'm really excited about picking that one up. Hope you guys are all enjoying my current videos. I'm really enjoying making them and making them for you guys, because... I just love making YouTube videos. It is really, I just find it fun. Thank you for all the support in the recent videos. Leave a like, also subscribe. That was a really bent um, thumbs up. But yeah, leave a like, also subscribe to the channel. Make sure to also follow my Instagram at blue underscore view. I'll leave the um, Instagram and stuff in the description. You guys are amazing. I'm sorry if my videos are quite short at the moment. It's because I have a lot of prep to do, a lot of coursework. But yeah, I'm trying to get one video out a day. I'm going to also pre-record some videos for the following week. So yeah. Don't be worried, I will have some videos, and if I don't, I'll update you guys on what's going on. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.